from deep in the heart of the San Fernando Valley, it's Hanging with Dr. Z, with Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheel. Tonight, Brian, the insult comic dog. This monkey means business. The doctor will see you now. Oh, look at that. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's incredible. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome. You. Woo! All right. Come on. You're not that excited. You're just happy to be inside. You're just glad to be out of the cold. This is uh, Hanging with Dr. Z. I am Dr. Z. And over here is Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels right here. And that is Rusty's lovely wife, Claudine. Hello. Who once again has gotten by the guard gate to grace us with her presence. We have a, a terrific show tonight. It's unseasonably cold. We're having a bit of a cold snap here in Southern California, which is unusual for this time of year. But it's not so bad. The winter in Southern California is okay. Where, where, where'd you grow up, Rusty? I know you're circus people. You traveled? Yeah, I kind of grew up and kind of just moved around because I was in the circus. Town to town, eating beans out of a can? Yeah, when they'd let me. Sure. Yeah, when they'd let me out, I would get, I would forage for food, I'd grab food, and then I'd go back into my thing. If I was Bruce Springsteen, I would start singing Glory mm. Days. Eating apple cores in a human cage, Glory Days. Yep. And you're from Montreal, correct? Uh, oui, but uh, when I was a little girl, I lived in Rouen And I'm sorry? Rouen Oh, okay. I thought you said, whoa, whoa. And what you said was, whoa, so oh. I... No? I spent a large part of my youth in the Northeast uh, because I went to boarding school in New England because my parents didn't know what to do with me. <laughs> and the winters in New England, they're gorgeous until January 2nd. It is too cold to do anything. It gets dark at three o'clock in the afternoon. The world is just dead trees and dirty snow. You see owls in the middle of the forest? Why? 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 Everyone's depressed. Suicide hotline, I want to kill myself. No, I called you. You ever thought about suicide, Rusty? Oh yeah. Not surprised. Suicide is an interesting thing. I bet that most murder suicides at about the halfway point become just murder. Gee, I suddenly feel so much better. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a show that's to die for, I say. Comedy legend Triumph, the insult comic dog is here tonight. And then later, don't go to bed, Actor Tony Curtis is gonna come out here to eat an entire pineapple in one bite. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels, get us out of here! Hey, Telly Savalas here. You might remember me from Kojak or that one James Bond movie that nobody liked. You know you can't win every time you roll those bones and sometimes you gotta settle for second best. Like at Fuxley Inn, each room comes with a working lamp, an ice bucket, and a pillowcase that smells like excitement. Whether to stay the night, take a leak, or bang abroad. We don't care what happens here. Just don't leave anything you don't want found. You're staying at Fuxley Inn. Now shut up. News from Foxley. For a limited time, it's hanging with Dr. Z Hot Rod T-shirts. A variety of colors. Red, blue, the other ones. A variety of sizes. Small, large, extra large, even medium. Also, mugs. 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 Hot liquids, cold liquids. The Dr. Z mug holds them all. This is not a joke. We're really selling this stuff. Go to HangingWithDrZ.com. Available now for a limited time. And we are back. 
back our next guest, ladies and gentlemen. If there was a comedic Mount Rushmore, they would bulldoze it and make one statue of our next guest. He has been a star in the American comedy scene for the past 45 years, the original Mr. Tuesday Night. He's here to tell his jokes your way. Please welcome Triumph! The oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hello. Oh, so great to be here, doctor. You look terrific. Thank you so Just much. Just terrific. You look like Ron Perlman was so broke he had to sell some of his chromosomes. <laughs> yes. No. That's what I do. No. That's what I do. He's doing look it. At He's him. doing it. I'm, do I'm pooping right now before your eyes. I'm pooping. This is like Space Ghost, except it's only your career that has passed into the afterlife. <laughs> you see? Stop. I'm not oh, going yeah. to Cedars Where? again because of you. <laughs> Now, here's the question. Oh, yes! Triumph, with leading economic indicators as they are... Yes. Are we looking at the end of the American century in terms of capitalism as a dominant economic force? Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, I need to talk to your producers because you, you asked the same question to Paget Brewster three weeks ago. You know what? I have the wrong card. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's totally a Paget Brewster. Question. Okay? I have, I have cards for Triumph and cards for Alan Greenspan. Can we clear the desk before the new guest? Thank you. When you're going down on a woman and it gets a little boring, do you just close your eyes and pretend she's an old slipper? You know, just to get a second wind going? Okay, all right. You, you lost me on going down. I'm sorry, but uh, as far as when I get a little bored, I just close my eyes and pretend you're Byron Allen. Now that guy's got it. That guy, I kid, I kid. Not about you being boring, I kid. I have gone down many times, mostly on Conan. You know the red-headed kid, Conan? I know a lot about red-headed people, and let me tell you something. There you go. Yes. Yeah, you have in common. It's kind of a rite of passage over at that show, you it know, is. and he knows I love peanut butter. <laughs> uh, but here's the weird thing. Here's the weird thing. Conan has no pubic hair. Oh, that's this a... is true. He, he cuts the wig off a Raggedy Ann doll and pastes it on. Ah. And we're supposed to act like it's okay. But I have to tell you, as somebody who dated Stephanie Powers, whenever I would go down yes. on her, I remembered, you know what? I have to go to the pumpkin patch. fra -poof. As a dog, when you go to get groomed, do they automatically express the anal glands, or is it more of a code, like, you leave a $50 bill on the bureau and say something vague like, you know what was a great band? Squeeze. Is, is there a way to, how, what's the deal huh. with that? Wow, squeeze, I never, now you tell me. <laughs> I don't want to pry, but are there little triumphs at home? I have 164 illegitimate children. The thing that we can take from that is that you're not, as people would say, fixed, or as I would say, broken. Oh, <laughs> fixed, yes. Um, okay, now you're bringing up something that's, uh, you know, little, uh, little awkward for me. Uh, I'm here for you. You know, and that's what this show has, Triumph. Yeah, it's like Drew Barrymore. You're, you're going Drew Barrymore on me now. We have the laughs, and we have the love, and we have the hugs, and then it's a thing. Yes. Only the hubris of humanity could equate, well, we're going to lop your balls off, and then you'll be repaired. Uh, how does, how I, does I your tried. take on that? I, I fought it as best I could, you know, but because uh, I was neutered. I begged them. Beg them not to. I said, suppose I promised just to do anal. <laughs> Wasn't good enough. Not, yeah. It was not good enough. So mm -hmm. I'm actually coming out with a line of doggy condoms. Called? Yes. Liver flavored for her pleasure. <laughs> it was Peter LaSalle or Henry Bushkin oh. told me yes. that you, and this is one of those things, it's, again, celebrities do this. Because you, I know you. You come on camera and you and you tease, but off camera, this one has a heart as big as the Ritz. That's the Thank thing you. with this one. It's off camera. You see the real triumph, and 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 it'll leave you a puddle. I heard that you every year put all of your vacation time together, go to Florida, and help OJ on his hunt for the real killers. You know what? I have done that, but. I've got a new plan now. Instead of helping OJ, I'm going to help find the real killers of my career. 
By that, I mean the agent who booked me on this steaming pile of crap. <laughs> Did your father ever tell you never, I don't care what you do or where you go, but never bring home a cat? Because I know Milo and Otis was a groundbreaking film and it won the best picture and it deserved it, but did it change anything? <laughs> it did deserve it. Well, you know, first of all, I was raised by very liberal parents during the swinging 70s. Exactly. And uh, they didn't care. Dog, cat, ferret, bear. As long as it was Jewish. That's, that's all they cared about. Perfect. That's, perfect. that's all that mattered. You know, I once had the three-way with... Uh, Myself, Cloris Leachman, and Flipper, you know, and I don't like to, I feel bad talking about my romantic conquest. A gentleman yes, doesn't banged, kiss and tell. A gentleman doesn't strap to the bedpost, stick his paw, tongue, and pud into all three holes, and tell. You know what? <laughs> doesn't happen. It has been, it has been too many years since the word pud has crossed the threshold of my ear mansion and gone in and sat down on the couch. And I want to thank you for that. Thank you. Question. My last one. The Triumph the Insult comic dub. Okay. Uh, all right. The last time we worked together, it was at a college in Western Massachusetts in the middle Ooh. of winter. You went down to New York and I had to drive back to Boston. On my okay. way home, Car broke down. I'm on the side of the mass turnpike. It's three o'clock in the morning. In the middle of January, the temperature dips down below zero. For a moment, I think I'm going to die. Triumph. What awaits us after we leave this mortal coil? Well, <laughs> you know what's beautiful? I'm Jewish, and I like the Judaism because there's no hell. We don't believe in hell. And I think that takes all the pressure off. But there's no eternal hell, you know? And it's sad because it's, that's the great thing about Judaism, because I know a Catholic beagle uh -huh. who, was told that, who was told that every time he masturbated, he'd grow hair on his tongue. See? And what good, what good did that do? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> That's the old experience. Why do dogs lick their balls? Because they can. It would be a great skill if you're stuck in traffic or on a long flight. <laughs> uh, Triumph the Incel Comic Dog. We, oh, yes. We kid because we love, which means that no one loves more than you. You see, th this is for you. It beats every day I get up, and the first thing I think about is this cat, Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. I, I have to get back to loving people. He's going to get, get back, back to, to loving love. people. I know you have Battle of the Network Stars coming up. You're on the Dean Martin Roast. And I have to get back to love. I'm very busy loving. Tomorrow night, <laughs> Carl Sagan will be here to fight his own weight in wet turtlenecks. <laughs> a chicken, a chicken, a chicken, a bing bong. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs>